So here we have a, a situation where we have a string placed between two strong blocks. We put enough tension in this, on the string so that we have a velocity of 100 meters per second. The blocks are one meter apart, so the length of the string is one meter. But now instead of pulling on the string right at the halfway point where we get a resulting fundamental frequency, um, we are going to pluck on the string one quarter away from the end. And when we do that, we get a very different result in the way it, it oscillates. When we do that, we get something that looks like this. We get a string oscillating in such a way that the very end point doesn't move, the very end point on the other side doesn't move, and then there's a point right in the middle where the string doesn't move either. Those are known as nodes. And then the places where the string has its maximum oscillation, amplitude, those are called the antinodes. Now notice that nothing really was different between this string and the previous string. It was the same string, same length, same tension, therefore same velocity. The only difference was that we put energy into the spring in a different way where we pulled it one quarter from the end of the string instead of in the middle, and now we have a very different oscillation pattern. Notice in this case that the length is equal to the wavelength. And so since the length was one meter, we know then that the wavelength is one meter as well. The velocity hasn't changed because the tension didn't change. So if we then say that the velocity is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, or the frequency is equal to the velocity divided by the wavelength, so in this case it's equal to 100 meters per second, divided by one meter, which is equal to 100 hertz. Now remember, in the previous uh, video, the frequency was, frequency was 50 hertz when the wave was plugged in a different manner so that we had an oscillatory pattern or a standing wave pattern that looked like that. So now by plugging it in a different location and getting this kind of waveform, the frequency basically doubled from what was before because the fundamental frequency, F sub naught, was equal to 50 hertz. And now the, what we call the second harmonic, so this was the, what we would call the fundamental frequency, see, or also known as the first harmonic, being 50 hertz, you can see now that the first overtone or the second harmonic, and so we can call this F sub 2 for indicating the second harmonic, is double the fundamental frequency. And that makes sense because you see now that the wavelength is half, so therefore the frequency must be double since everything else stays the same. All right, then that's how you find the first overtone or the second harmonic of a wave. And when we come back to the next video, we're going to show you how to find the third harmonic. Of course, I think you're starting to get the pattern. We're going to pluck the string at a different location to get a different kind of waveform. So I'll come back and see how, what that looks like.